how to create a character. I click on the plus button to create a new character. A random character has been generated. In the top left hand corner, you'll find its various appearances and in the bottom left hand corner, its various facial expressions. On the right, you can name your character and add a description. You can add new appearances and new expressions. Now let's see how to modify a character's appearance. I click on the open button and I'm taken to the graphics editing screen. This screen lets you compose an image using graphic assets. On the right, there's a field for naming the composition and below that are the layers that make up our image. This image has a visual for the body, a visual for the head and a visual for the hair. I'm going to select a layer in order to modify it. To select, either click directly on the image or select the layer in the layer tree. When a layer is selected, its properties are displayed. Now I'm going to change the layer image. I click on the Assets field and open the Asset panel. To modify, click on the image you wish to use. You can validate by pressing the green button or cancel by pressing the grey button. Graphic assets are grouped by tag and the tags are filtered to make them easier to read. Assets are sorted by theme or by camera angles. For those who know how to draw, you can import your own images. I'm going to modify the image used for the character's head. I click on the import button and select an image I wish to use. Custom graphics are indicated by a purple circle. They can be deleted. To delete, Select the element and press the delete button. How do I manipulate a layer? I select the hair layer. Notice that it's surrounded by a tool that lets you transform it. To position it, grasp the inside of the frame. Click on the borders to stretch and adjust. Grab the rotation icon to orientate the layer. You can change the layer's center of rotation, which can be useful when animating characters. In the top right hand corner, two arrows let you modify the layer's depth. The editor also lets you distort an image. When an object is selected, the transformation tool is activated by default. But there are two tools available, the transformation tool and the deformation tool. These can be used to modify the morphology of a character or simply to adjust two superimposed images. The diameter of the cursor can be modified and if you make a mistake, the deformation can be reset. How to change colors. You can adjust colors in three different ways. You can deface the color. You can modify the saturation level of a color. And finally, you can multiply the RGB components of our image by a factor between 0 and 2 to darken, lighten or impose a color. We've already seen how to modify a layer, but you can also add new layers or delete existing ones. To delete a layer, press the trash icon. You can also press the delete key on your keyboard. To add a layer, press the Add button in the Layer Manager. The layer is added to the center of the image, but does not yet have a graphic asset. I'm going to take a personalization picture, a hat, and place it on the composition. For the moment, this layer is at the root of composition, but it is possible to link it as a child of another layer. To modify its hierarchical position, I grab it with my cursor and drop it into another layer. If I select the parent layer and modify its position, rotation or size, the layer will follow. By default, layers are displayed by hierarchy, but it is also possible to display layers by depth. If you are familiar with the editor, you can switch the interface to Expert Mode. Expert Mode displays all layer properties. The transparency level can be adjusted. 
The tag that filters the assets in this layer can be modified. You can change the layer icon and you can enable or disable distortion by inheritance. With inheritance. Without inheritance. When your graphic composition is complete, don't forget to save it. In the next tutorial, we'll look at how to create character facial expressions. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.